Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Um, I know that y'all can't see my face right now, and I know that you miss it, okay? But we're gonna be fine. Today we're doing some base reviews. We've got four bases to go over, all Town Hall 8. If you guys want a chance to get your base reviewed, go ahead and send a screenshot over to basereviewswithmalt at gmail.com. Make sure that the subject line says your level as well as what town hall you are. So uh, Chief right here would say I am Town Hall 8, level 80. Uh, just make sure that you do that. You can say farming or trophy base if you want, and uh, that'll help me out too, up to you guys. But uh, yeah, we do these every once in a while, and uh, they're always fun. It's always a good video uh, just to kind of tell you guys how I feel about people's bases. Uh, not everybody can get reviewed. I have about 2,000. Uh, I have about 2,000. That would be 2,000. Uh, <laughs> I have about 2,000 emails right now from people. So uh, just take what you hear and kind of apply it to some of your own stuff um, and work from there. But first off, we're going to start... With Chief, he is um, a, a Town Hall 8, obviously, level 80, and this is a farming base. Now, the only thing about this base that I find interesting is that it's a farming base, but these two little guys are out here, but I guess that's okay. First off, let's go ahead and see that we have the Clan Castle as well as the Dark Elixir in the middle. That is perfect. Our Mortars make a triangle covering the majority of the base and our wizards make a triangle as well. Illuminati! <laughs> and our air defenses also make a triangle. This is some crazy Illuminati stuff, whoever's base this is. Um, <laughs> so that's all good that all those make triangles. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want. And you've got some bombs and Teslas up in here. You've only got one Tesla up there, which is good, because people probably think there's three up there. And then you got two down here. People probably think there are bombs down there, so that's good. You've got your cannons, archers, cannon, archer, cannon. Look at this guy. Archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer all the way around. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want to do, Chief, so great job with that. Uh, you do have some upgrades that you still need to do. Um, the cannons look good. You're working on your walls and everything. It looks great, man. The base design looks good. Sometimes people use my bases and just tweak a little bit, and I can't even, I can't really tell because I've literally made probably 50 bases. I have a folder of screenshots of all these bases that I've made that I should probably let you guys download if you want to. Uh, I might do that. I might put that in the description at some point in the future for people to download a folder of all the bases I've created. But, Chief, this is a great base, man. I don't think I would really change anything on it. Um, you did a good job of putting these uh, traps right here to stop people from getting in there to the mortars and whatnot. It looks like there's a wall missing right here, so that's probably why those traps are there. <clears throat> and the walls are missing right here, of course, as well. So great job on this. Let's move on to the next base. It's going to be David. He is also a level 80. Is this the same base? No? Wow, it looks pretty close. <laughs> So here's his base. You can see his mortars are spread out a lot more, which isn't necessarily good. If I were you, first thing I would do, put a mortar right here, put a mortar right here so that you get a triangle like this because right now the bottom of your base isn't going to be covered by the mortar, so you definitely want to trade those out. So bring the archer towers right here, put the mortars right here where the archer towers is, and then you'll get this going on, and that'll be a lot better for you. The wizard towers up here are a little bit close together, but I guess you can't do too much with that unless you want to move one of them out here and one of them out here. That way they can fully protect all of the resources. But for the most part, they are doing a good job of protecting the resources. So good job there. This air defense up here is super exposed, but you do have these two protected pretty well. So uh, I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> Let's talk about your point defenses. You've got your cannon, archer, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, cannon, archer cannon so they're they're a little they're a little uh, messed up a little skippy so just try and make it cannon archer cannon archer all the way around just because it's going to help spread out your point defenses uh, obviously you do have a lot to upgrade still especially with your cannons but you are on your way you're doing great so good job there you've got a whole bunch of elixir that you can now use on walls with the new update and i'm sure that you have because i believe that this picture is probably a week or so old um <clears throat> But otherwise, it looks like a pretty good base. I like the layout of it. The design's good. Again, I would be a little bit worried about these wizards being close together. But the biggest thing I would change is switching these 
uh, two things right here so that your mortars cover down here because right now none of this stuff is covered by the mortars if the mortars are right here they're gonna cover probably out to here um, when where they are right now they probably only cover out to here so that's the biggest thing I would switch if I were you David 51 let's move on to uh, Abdullah level 85 uh, Town Hall 8 as well. I can't, some of these look so much so similar to each other. It's funny um, <clears throat> All right, so your wizards are all spread out as well in a big triangle. It does look like um, Some of your resources aren't going to be covered by the wizards like this and this will probably not be covered by the wizards So somebody attacks from up here. They're gonna be able to get into that dark elixir as well So I might try and move those in a little bit. <clears throat> not too sure if you can or not your uh, air defenses are triangulated well. This one's super exposed, just like in this last base. Are these the same base? Is that the same base? No, it's not the same base. Gosh, so many of these look similar. <laughs> um, your mortars are great. I wouldn't change anything about your mortars for sure. They cover the base really, really well. I would love to see the wizards right here, maybe. Uh, so I would put a wizard right here and a wizard right here, if you can, uh, and scoot that those resources out but otherwise they're gonna be fine I would just I would just leave them it's up to you though um, right now it's just that the top portion of your base right here doesn't have any wizard coverage and if you have the wizards right here it'll cover up to here so that would be great uh, let's go on so we got archer cannon archer cannon wow nothing down here Is there an archer tower on the missing nope cannon archer cannon archer cannon archer archer so I would try and have something down here, but it doesn't look like you can. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's good. I think this base looks really good. The uh, walls are upgraded well. Everything else is upgraded super well. To the only thing, like I was saying, is maybe move these in and then figure out something to do down here. There's not much defense down here when it comes to point defense, like archers or cannons. So um, I might put. I don't know. I don't know what you can do. <laughs> it just looks like a really open area down here, uh, especially with your Teslas upgrading. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's not a bad base. Let's move on. And we have one more uh, with Mo level 77. And he's got his walls upgraded really, really nice, as well as his cannons are all upgraded. So good job right here. This looks like it might be a transformer base so that you can bring your town hall right here in the middle if you want to again that would be up to you obviously but let's go ahead and talk about your defenses you've got your mortars triangulated right here they are off though and I'm all about symmetry this mortar is right here so on this side it would have to be right here I would move this mortar right here is what I would do so that you get a good coverage of your mortars right there your wizards are triangulated super well also um, but this gold storage down here is not protected by uh, any splash defense really I mean it does have the mortars but it doesn't have wizards but normally I'll put wizards by my defenses just because they wreck goblins <clears throat> um, and let's see here let's go ahead and talk about your point defense so you got cannon archer cannon archer archer cannon cannon archer archer cannon so I would take this archer put it right up here and switch those two out just because you want to have some sort of of air defense up here at the top and you have nothing if you have your archer up there you're gonna have some air defense up at the top of the base for the most part it looks good I like these double walls I think that, that definitely will help a little bit um, but there is a lot of them you could use some of those walls elsewhere like only cover down to here or so and then take all of these walls and put them right here and right here if you were to take this portion and this portion but that's up to you I just think that it might uh, stop anybody from getting in here to your mortars if you did that <clears throat> but that's up to you as always guys for anybody who did not get their base reviewed which is a lot of you because there's 1500 emails just take the things that I always say into account and try and apply it to your base one thing that I didn't mention that I'm going to now is that you have all of this and all of this is all resources you're gonna need to switch that up so bring in bring an army camp up here and bring an army camp up here and switch it out so that you have let's say elixir barrack gold barrack something like that so that people can't just attack and get all that loot from you because that's not good especially if you're AFK for a day or you're off for a day somebody can just come in here drop off a couple of archers and get a good amount of loot so I would definitely pay attention to that um, 
So yeah, I mean that's up to you as I was saying, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Again, if you want a chance to get your base review, go ahead and send a picture. Make sure it's high res to base reviews with molt at gmail.com. Make sure that you give me your town hall level, uh, your in-game level, as well as your um, whether you're farming or trophy in the subject line. Alright, thank you so much for watching, guys, as always, and make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.